What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, The Crow Show, home of the smoothest voice on Twitch. In today's video, we're going to talk about a content creator, Dead Girl Jimmy. Now, recently, Dead Girl Jimmy found herself in hot water for poking the bear of the Dead by Daylight community, using race to bait people to watch her content. Now, let's watch the original video, and then let's break down why it's an issue. Dude, I saw a post on Twitter of people calling Hattie ugly. Do you, if you guys didn't know Hattie is Indian, and a lot of people were saying like, a lot of people were saying that they don't like playing her because she's Indian, and I thought that was crazy, and it made me feel so freaking bad. So, I'm supporting all the Indians today. I'm supporting all the Indians today. Yeah. I'm supporting all the Indians today. And I'm gonna be playing Hattie for a while. Isn't that so sad? People saying she's ugly because she's Indian or that like she's like, look at her, look how gorgeous she is. How can anyone say that she's ugly? Yes, you heard that correctly and you saw it correctly. I played Hattie for a few matches to honor all of the Indians and Hattie mains out there. Right off the bat, you don't say that when you're referring to someone else's race or culture. The Indians. That's just gross. Don't word it like that. Before we get any further though, I do want to just say, I don't believe Jimmy had any intention of being racist and nothing I've seen or heard from Jimmy's content suggests to me that she's racist. And I know these things. I'm native Canadian. I know how to spot a racist from a mile away. And nothing I've seen is enough proof to say that she's racist. I do believe she did mean well. It's just the delivery was really cringe and really gross and racially insensitive. Now, I do believe you can be insensitive about someone's race but in this case, like it wasn't malicious. It was, she was actually praising Hattie, saying she's cute and pretty and stuff. And that's appreciated, but you called her the Indian. Like it's, that's not a nice thing to say. And by introducing this idea, you're just kind of opening up the doors for people to be rude and gross. The videos are still up. It's been repurposed on TikTok, YouTube, and Twitter. I'll just post a couple of screenshots here. Is Hattie the ugliest survivor in Dead by Daylight? You're opening up the gates for people to say rude things about Hattie, who is Indian, and just by the nature of the way people talk about people, they're going to point out to features that might be specific to Hattie because she's Indian, and that that's really gross. It really sucks. I know that's not your intention here, but that's what's happening. That's what's happening when this kind of topic comes up. Now, this is a very measured step taken by Jimmy here. We're in the middle of a cosmetic contest, uh, which features a lot of different wonderful, talented artists who submitted artwork for survivors like uh, Jake Park and Sable and Hattie. And there was a, a Singularity cosmetic, which was really cool. And that turned into a really messy thing because people don't appreciate that Sable's been getting so many cosmetics lately and Hattie is just kind of left out in the cold. She's been around for a couple of years now and her cosmetics are just not very good. So what does Jimmy have the idea to do? Make a video that opens up debate as to whether Hattie is ugly. While there are people on Twitter fighting back and forth about how Hattie is ugly and Sable's so beautiful and here's why. That's just, you, you've got to read the room. It's very tone deaf. And that's why I took issue with the video and the tweet and the TikTok and the YouTube video, all that. It's tone deaf, just racially insensitive. Doesn't make you a racist, but it's not very sensitive. Opens up debate about somebody's appearance and how, you know, there might be people who can relate to Hattie because of her, her culture, her race, her background. Before we go any further, I want to get into the Hattie versus Sable thing a little bit here. 
and shed some light on why people might be upset about Sable getting so many cosmetics recently and Hattie not really getting many. Uh, Scott Jones created a video and he sorted by cosmetic numbers saying, oh, well, her number is about the same and blah, 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 blah. Well, I wanna approach it from a different angle. Let's look at the quality of the cosmetics between the two. So if we look at the cosmetics for Hattie, if we go to the store here, the quality of her cosmetics aren't very good. Like if you, I'm just going to scroll through some of them. Some people criticize behavior for always giving her like this back bling kind of stuff. But her costumes, her cosmetics are just all very basic. And this is why you've got the Hattie versus Sable thing going on is because, you know, this is very boring, very dull, uh, not super flattering. Like this is probably, this is my favorite one. I just love the colors and I think she looks great there. I also like this one too. Um, but you know, if you're looking at all of these cosmetics, there's only like a couple that are like pretty good quality, right? Now, if you switch to um, Sable, which is where a lot of the um, kind of people get upset when you talk about Hattie versus Sable, the quality of Sable's cosmetics are, are quite high. Like these are really good cosmetics. You can tell they've put a lot of time and effort into them. Obviously behaviors in this to make money and you know, look at this little butterfly thing here. It moves around and stuff. Hattie has nothing like this. There's a lot of survivors that don't have anything like this. Like you look at this, this is really cool. And you know, I don't blame people for enjoying Sable, but it's just, why can't we get this level of detail for survivors like Hattie? And I think that's why there's a lot of that Hattie versus Sable, especially when it comes to talking about the uh, fan art design contest and why things got really nasty, why things got really gross between people saying, don't vote for Sable, she has enough cosmetics, vote for Hattie. It got really ugly and even people are getting the artists involved, but yeah, you just look at, you look at any of these, co like any of these three cosmetics up here, or these two, which I believe were Rift cosmetics. You're gonna see those every, every single day. Uh, but if you track like, how often you see any of these Hattie cosmetics, you, when's the last time you saw somebody running in the fog with this? Like. I think it's pretty cool, but you just don't see it. Uh, Hattie deserves better quality cosmetics, and that's my point with this. Okay, so now that I caught you up on the Hattie versus Sable thing and why I sp suspect there's tension between people who play Hattie and Sable, it's, it's more or less just the quality of the cosmetics between the two, and there definitely seems to be a racial bias towards the Caucasian survivors, and call me crazy but uh, feel free to chime in if you disagree. Jimmy did release an apology video and let's have a look at it right now. There's a lot of things I need to talk about today, but the first thing I wanna talk about is how I've been receiving death threats. Okay, so the first thing we need to talk about today is how I've been receiving death threats. This is a strategy here employed by many YouTubers content creators you immediately start out by trying to get sympathy now with the bigger content creators people usually call them out but i think because uh, dead girl jimmy is a you know grand scheme of things on youtube is a relatively small creator and has developed a, a large number of parasocial relationships we'll get into that a little bit later um people bought this people allowed Jimmy to play the victim. And uh, because we, we get a few of these little messages here, which are totally out of bounds, you should never send people any threats. Uh, but immediately we're nine seconds into the video and Jimmy is getting sympathy from anybody watching. Playing the victim. There have been multiple people telling me to kill myself multiple people threatening to find my address and just that's my favorite part the deep breath the, the, the deep 
I, I can do it too. See, I'll, I'll, I'll do it too. <laughs> Need to find my address. And that right there, it feels performative. I'm just gonna say it feels performative. Now, I can't say 100% for sure I'm not Jimmy. It feels performative. Just tons of comments of people calling me a racist. There's even people. That okay, I'm going to stop right there to, I don't think Jimmy is racist. What I believe happened is the video that Jimmy made was racially insensitive. That doesn't make Jimmy a racist. It's just weird to bait people with something that is such a sensitive topic in the Dead by Daylight community. And she admitted it herself in the original video or in the apology video saying that she just wanted to reel in views. That's kind of scummy, like you kind of need to know where to draw the line. And, and she did cross the line by baiting people and the language she used saying, the Indians. I'm going to honor the Indians in Hattie Mains. If you apply that to any culture or any race inside of Dead by Daylight, it's immediately weird. It doesn't make you racist, but it makes you very ignorant. And I originally thought, because I don't know Jimmy, I don't, I'm not familiar with her content. I thought Jimmy was just some kid some 18, 19 year old kid who probably comes from the comp scene or something like that, right? They have a very bad reputation. That was my initial thoughts and impressions. But no, Jimmy uh, on her profile in on Twitch says that she's 30 years old and Christian, which is very fascinating to be 30 years old and be this ignorant to racial tension inside of Dead by Daylight. I, I just don't buy it that have been trying to find my Steam account and comment stuff like this. It has been really overwhelming for me. That's why I'm making this video a bit late. So I made this Hattie video a few days ago with the original title is- I'll put the original thumbnail up right here. The thumbnail said ugly. Hattie, the ugliest survivor in Dead by Daylight. I genuinely didn't make this title to call Hattie ugly. I never ever said that. I made the title hoping it would reel in views. I promise you with all my- See, she just wanted to reel in views. Wanted to bait people with race. And in the original video, she just, it's just a couple rounds of playing Hattie. There's no commentary. There's no like education going on. Uh, at first, I was thinking she might get tunneled out or maybe get some toxic messages from the killer. No, nothing like that happened. And most of the time that doesn't happen when I play with, I've been playing with Hattie recently. It's just a really weird video. My heart, I made this video with only good intentions. Everyone just twisted it around and started calling me a racist. I know myself and I know my heart and believe me when I tell you this, I am not a racist. I am genuinely so sorry for offending everyone. Here's why I take issue with this apology. She does not acknowledge what she did wrong. Now the thing she did wrong was bait people, use language that is really gross by saying, I'm going to play Hattie to honor the Indians and Hattie Mains out there. That's not a nice thing to say. <laughs> I'm bisexual. Imagine like, imagine I'm for a second, imagine I'm just a straight male. Imagine if I was like, you know what? You know what guys, I'm gonna play David today to honor the gays, the gay people. I'm going to honor the gay people by playing a few rounds of David. And here's how it went. And the music for the original video has got like some soft strumming guitar music kind of it just triggers something inside of you that's like okay oh my gosh this is so meaningful it's going to be so deep no it's just somebody being weird and baiting people by making that video and i'm going to be more careful in the future with that, what i decide to name my videos and what subject subject i make them on another thing i need to talk about is me liking and hearting comments I've been making content for over six years and a way to show my appreciation to my viewers has always been liking and hearting comments no matter what. Now, here's the thing. I, 
I saw the original tweets that Jimmy liked and I didn't see anything like way out of bounds. And the thing with likes and hearting comments on YouTube, it, we don't know the intent behind that. Uh, you know, Jimmy said straight up, she just doesn't always read the messages and just kind of gives thumbs up or likes on Twitter. And I get that. It's just that some of the tweets uh, for her, her Sable and Michaela ship video kind of implied that people, that gay people don't know and understand real relationships. And you had to scroll pretty far down the comments to read those. And she didn't like every single comment on that original video. So it did look selective, but again, it's not really for me to decide the intent behind Jimmy hitting that heart button because I believe likes are hidden now on Twitter. I believe you can't see what people like because of Elon. <laughs> I didn't see it as being super homophobic myself when I, when I saw the original likes, but it, it is kind of suspect that it wasn't Jimmy liking every single comment. And it did seem like a select few that could lead people to imply that there's some homophobia there. And she is Christian too, after all, right? Like, so you can, you can put, you can connect the dots. It doesn't take much to connect the dots here. To show my appreciation after everything that has happened, I realize now that that can be so dangerous because I've accidentally liked comments that were harming, rude, and even homophobic. I made a video about Sable and Michaela on Twitter a while back about how people ship them. After that post started blowing up, it just started getting tons and tons of comments. I just started skimming through the comments and not reading them fully and started liking them without, without knowing they were homophobic. I take full responsibility for being reckless like that, and I am so freaking sorry for making you guys think that I am homophobic. Again, nothing I've seen or read from Jimmy's tweets, even from watching some of Jimmy's videos, nothing I've read or seen has supported that Jimmy is racist or homophobic. It's just kind of interesting you know it's just it's enough to make someone raise their eyebrows but there's not enough proof there homophobic i promise you with all my heart i am not homophobic i've learned from my actions and now i'm going to be more careful on what comments i like in the future i'm so so very sorry for offending so many people and i hope you all can forgive me if not today then i hope someday Okay, so this apology is a complete nothing burger. This is the equivalent to when I understand that my wife is mad at me. Sometimes I jokingly say, well, whatever it was that I did, I'm, I'm sorry, I apologize. I, I clearly said something wrong and whatever it was, I'm truly sorry. Know in my heart that I'm sorry. Obviously that just makes her more upset. I should know what I did wrong. I should know what I said wrong. So Jimmy, you're watching it's the way you presented the video the way you baited people using race to bait people like that it's not okay using a phrase like the indians it's not okay because that separates them from you and i you're a faceless content creator i don't see a lot of information in your profile to say what your cultural or ethnic background is. So I can't really say much beyond your 30 year old Christian. When you say the Indians, you're putting distance between us and them. And that's, that's a real problem. Creating any kind of us versus them, those people over there, I'm going to support them by playing this video game character. And that's another thing a lot of people in Jimmy's community commented on. Hattie's just a video game character. Well, being Indian is not just in a video game. There are real people out there who represent that race and that culture. I'm not Indian, I'm, I'm native Canadian. But the thing is, when it comes to fellow POC, I'm always going to stand up for my for my people who I feel are being oppressed and um, 
upset. And I'm not just running around with a pitchfork looking for these things. This popped up in my feed because the tweet went very viral. The video went very viral. Jimmy reeled people in, got what she wanted, then deleted her account for a few days, ran for a while, and then comes back with this nothing YouTube apology. I'm sorry. I'm just not buying it. I don't think you learned anything from this. It's the equivalent of when I tell my wife, whatever I said, I'm sorry. The video is a problem because of your wording. You created an us versus them conversation. You opened up debate whether Hattie is ugly and your TikTok has people bantering back and forth over her looks. That's not okay. You did not acknowledge why you're apologizing. You just threw out a blanket statement that is the equivalent of me saying to my wife, hey, whatever I did, I'm sorry. Now I'm glad Jimmy's back on Twitter Jimmy did delete her account or deactivate it for a few days. I don't believe people should be chased off of the platform and I do not condone personal insults. Goodness knows I've faced my share of personal insults over the years because I'm a dead by daylight content creator. No one deserves to feel unsafe or be on the receiving end of threatening remarks. At the same time, that does not excuse you from your weird behavior of race baiting the community then dipping out for a few days and then come back with a half-assed YouTube apology. In the meantime, I do believe the community should give Jimmy time and grace to reflect and grow from this experience. I'm not going to put Jimmy in an imaginary box and maintain this opinion of her for the rest of time. That's what much of the DVD community does. I've experienced it. Take a look at my mentions every now and again. You're going to see a lot of really interesting remarks of people who don't like me and yet I've never heard of them it's always it's always fun the difference is I don't hide behind the rude comments I don't play the victim card but hey in this case it seemed to work for you there's a lot of people who just bought it immediately and thanked you for being so brave with your apology but I think that's where we'll leave things I know it's a hard conversation to have and I want nothing but growth to happen from here Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.